Hey everyone, it's the Orange Hat Guy. People have been asking to see a video of some live gameplay footage with physical cards, so I called up my buddy Eric and we got you a video of just that. Enjoy! Alright. So first thing you do is obviously you decide who's going first. Simple roll of the die or rock, paper, scissors will take that out. Usually go by high roll. Eric rolled an eight. You can choose if he wants to go first or second. Uh, I'd like to go first. Alright. First, you're going to go ahead and draw your six cards. Alright. At the beginning of your turn, normally you would gain a shadow energy and draw a card. Since it is the very first turn of the game, you do neither of those. I'm going to draw my opening hand. And we begin. Two on a brutalis. And you want to make sure when you're playing uh, your when you play anything, when you play your allies, when you play your things, you always start on the left and go to the right, just as it happens in the digital game. And I'll end my turn. using my phone. I usually use my phone as a life counter, but since I'm using it to film, let's do it this way. I was at 28, now I'm at 26. Eric is still at 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Bad Wolf is in play. Yeah, and I hit you with a current board. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I took two damage from that. Okay. All done? Yep. Neat. Hmm. Here's my hand, folks. I got a strong late game. Which means I don't have a strong right now. Spend my three on a Dark Mage Thaddeus, take Carnivore for one, and then Brutalis is gonna kill him. Sadness. You done? That'll end my turn. Normally you would, you know, use dice to mark the carnivore's health, but since I'm hitting him back to back and taking him out, then we just kind of fudge that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Alright. We are going to use up my shadow energy to put uh, an extra one here. Okay. And an extra three here. So, we'll look at the four seven. Uh, 
wolf is going to take out Brutalis. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, spend two of my energy to put another carnivore in play. Okay. And it's all you. Usually I would recommend uh, keeping Bad Wolf instead of actually showing, you know, the, the addition. I would, I would have the dice show the actual values, but because he's at 7 health right now, yeah. I mean, you can use a larger dice for it if you prefer, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Thank you. Draw my card. We got a strong card, but I don't need it right now. Blow my shadow energy. Mm -hmm. Hit both of them. It's gonna kill Carnivore. Take Bad Wolf down to four health. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. the right move. But it has been done. <laughs> Use Dark Mage Thaddeus' ability, take Bad Wolf down to two. Place another Bad Wolf into play of my own. And I will end my turn. Alright. Okay, we're gonna fuck that. I'm gonna use my, uh... I'm gonna your shadow at the beginning of your turn. Yep, sorry. Uh, we're gonna... One, two, three, four, five. Five of this. I control your bad wolf. Alright. Taking free damage. And bad wolf is dead. Bad wolf takes out Death Mage Thaddeus. Yes, he does. I do not like you. Uh, it's all you. Alright. Uh, another thing Eric forgot to do, which you can do this in your normal games. In fact, mm -hmm. I highly recommend you do this. Eric forgot to have Bad Wolf gain his health. Right now, we can correct that without really affecting the game state. It's not going to... You don't have to really go back and, and rethink everything, so I'm just going to let him go back and fix it so he's back up to a free... You're at the free health. Right? No, he, he was... Because he was at 7, I, I, I knocked him down to 4 with this, and then I did 2 more with the Kinetic Stadia, so he was ah, at 2, yeah. and he would have held back up to 3 at the beginning of your turn. Gotcha. So yeah, I, I recommend it. I mean, it's really up to you. You don't have to allow your opponent to fix the game state. If your opponent made a mistake and you want to hold them to it, mm -hmm. that's your right. But for, you know, for, for a game, it's a friendly game, do it. I highly recommend it. I'm allowing you to use my likeness for this, so I, I think it's acceptable for me too. <laughs> Fair enough. I agree with that entirely. Well, I think I'm going to have to make this play. I don't have to. Let's make this play instead. Yeah. I'm going to do Shadow Font. I'm going to gain, gain 3, go up to 4, and then I'm going to use it again to hit Bad Wolf for 3, killing him. And Elementus is going to take 3 damage as well. And that ends my turn. I'm going to use my 5 energy to Plasma behemoth. Yeah. And it's your turn. Alright. Five energy and mind controlling your plasma behemoth. Just for the record, I'm not happy with you right now. <laughs> Did I say five energy? Yes. Right. Five resources. Go. Uh, I'm going to lay down a spark. And I'll be on. All right. I'm going to rearrange my field here so I can play things correctly. Move my resources out of the way. Five resources playing Dimension Ripper. Oh, 
Okie doke. I'm going to use my Dimension Ripper to kill your spark. When I do that, it goes down to two durability, and we each draw a card from the opponent's deck. Neat. Alrighty. And I am done. And this is an important thing to remember with this card, you know, in physical game, you know. In, in a digital game, it'll automatically put your cards back to the right player's deck. In the physical game, you have to make sure you remember whose whose cards are whose. Uh, I'm going to use three energy to put down a very shiny bad wolf. Ooh. And then we're going to drop uh, down to... Actually, no. no I'm not going to do that right now. All right. Um, uh, back to you. Okay. Get my energy. Draw my cards. Right. Shadow font myself up to seven total, or six total, was what it would be. So, I just do it additively. Going back down to zero, hit for three, hit for three. So Mike Schmerper's gonna hit him for the last one. Bad Wolf dies, we both draw a card from the top of the opponent's deck. Sweet. You finished? No, I have one energy left and I'm gonna spend it on your spark. Aww. He's so cute. You're up, buddy. Okay. I'm going to go like this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to throw down an Infernal Gargoyle and a Bad Wolf. You. And then we're going to look for that at all. Drop these, drop down to two. So the Bad Wolf is getting. Bad Wolf is now a uh, four, seven. Okay. Oh, I just realized what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> and your turn. I got too excited too quickly. Yeah. Here's another game state thing to correct that we actually played a little bit wrong. We need to correct his bad wolf. When, it, my, my, when my bad wolf went to his discard pile, it will automatically correct back to my discard pile. That's the kind of thing that you have to correct. You have to go back and correct that no matter, you know, how intricate it would be. Usually it's pretty common to fix that, but there are certain things that you just can't. Once you catch them, you got to make sure that they're playing right. You're about to use... Oh. It turns over? Yes, my turn is over. I have to find out what I'm going to use. I know exactly what you're going to use, and I'm betting you drew it from my deck. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. All right. Oh, my adventure is supposed to be a one durability right now. So, yep, that's how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Use your spark. Hit on my list for one. Unless, can I do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Energy discharge. Target friendly ally that can be damaged is killed. Boom. All opposing allies are killed and my hero takes five damage. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to happen. Uh oh. I thought, you, I thought you'd drawn one of my mind controls. Ah. Uh, this guy dies as well, right? Correct. But he goes to my discard pile. Alright. And that uses up my energy. I could hit you with a Dimension Ripper right now, but I'm not going to. It is your turn. Alright. All you. Hurrah. Everything was going so well for me. <laughs> Got six here. So you murdered my spark, killed my wolf, destroyed your gargoyle, <laughs> and hurt me. I don't like you. All of your own cards, too. Yeah. All right, so basically, you're in the process of winning with my deck, is what is what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> I'll dimension rep for you so I can continue beating you with your own deck. That 
wants to be dropped too. Are you finished? No. I'm gonna use my six energy. Uh, stop taking my cards. Those are both mine. Uh, you can tell by the color of the sleeves. Uh, this card's yours. I know. This is the card that you don't know what it is, but now everybody at home knows what it is. Glad I put that mirror over there. <laughs> you done? I am done, sir. We're going to start this off. We're going to use one to play a spark. <clears throat> We're going to use another five to mind control the infernal gargoyle. Okay. Hold the eye after I take two. And that's all she moves. Thaddeus will kill your spark. I'll play my fire snake. And that'll do it for my turn. Okay. I'm going to use one, two, three, four to play the Belladonna. Okay. Draw a card. Take it back if you want to. No, I'm going to take it back before you go. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to drop down to two energy so Belladonna stands a chance of living to the next turn. Yeah. All right. That's how I'm going to do that. So she's a 5 three. No, no, she's, no, she's a 5-5. Five, five. She's a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, well, I guess I can't do that then. Yeah. I... It doesn't really matter which you do, but it's it's better to do, you know, yeah. consistency. Yes. Your turn. Alrighty. Alright. Spend five to use your mind control on your pumped up Belladonna to hurt yourself even more. Thank you for me, for pumping her up, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, well, I didn't take a chance. Yeah. Death Mage Thaddeus will hit you for two. Fire Snake will hit you for one. That's a total of three more damage coming off you. Mm -hmm. And I will end my turn. Okay. Three shadow energy. And let's put... Doing that, I'm gonna look through your discard pile. I don't like the sound of that. Simply because this is something you can't do in a digital game that you can't do in physical. That's allowed. Well, the, your discard piles are face up because everything in them is common knowledge. If you're really protective of your cards, you can just you know give me a list of what's in there and in what order. It's much easier just to let me look at them. You know, as long as my fingers ain't all grimy. And I'm gonna. So it's your turn now. All right. Three of his mind controls are gone. I believe I used two of them. <laughs> yes! Yes, you did use two of them. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta finish the game. It's part of the contract that you didn't sign. Saldar is going to pop him for three and your hero for three. No, I can't use Death Mage it. will kill him so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Fire Snake will hit you for one more. Hey, wait a minute. What's up? I don't believe that you can have that Death Mage Thanos out. Why not? Because it's unique and you've got one in your graveyard right it, it, it's unique means there can only be one in play at, at the same time on one side of the field. So we can actually both have a, a Death Mage Thaddeus in play at yes. the same time. But the, the, the graveyard the graveyard doesn't matter as long as there's only one actually in play on the field at the same time. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. 
No worries. That is exactly the kind of thing that could go wrong. You done? Uh, no, I haven't spent my resources yet. Oh man, I was hoping I could trick you into thinking that. Yeah, I'm dumb, but I'm not stupid. What a bad Santa. Let's you draw some cards. I'll leave me four resources left. I'll spend that on an infernal gargoyle and another fiery snake. Uh -huh. I will end my turn, let you begin your last turn. So much for the cocky. Now how many cards in your hand? You know what, this is going to be my last turn, so I'm just going to go ahead and play uh, Extra Shock on the Dark Flare, just on the off chance that you do something with him. And uh, we're going to drop this all the way down to one, uh, so he looks incredibly terrifying. So that's uh, uh, plus three on there, so he's five, uh, uh, four, and I'm really hoping that that's going to make you very nervous about attacking me. It does a little bit. Okay. Normally what I would do is just have the dice show that he's a three and because the extra sharp is attached, we'll show the other plus two. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter all that much as long as we're both clear on what's going. Okay, well, I'm just going to do the three then because yeah. that makes more sense. Um, uh, now it's your turn. All right. Get him my she's out of she's energy. Keep drawing extra card. I keep drawing extra card. Take that sacrifice, and I'll draw three more extra cards. You're also drawing if you are not at max hand size. Well, that would have been helpful three turns ago. What's max hand size? Seven. Seven? All right. Mm-hmm. I'm good. All right. And he is at 5 health, so what I'm going to do is spend 5 energy to make him pay for using that extra sharp and have him kill himself. You know what? We're not friends anymore. We're friends. 